Hello everybody, Roxy the Monochrome Cat here, and today I'm here with the first official episode of Roxy Rambles, which is going to be a part of one of my many shows. Along with Roxy Rants and Roxy Reviews, this will mostly be my most popular one, because, well, I think I prefer speaking positively, and reviewing things just isn't my forte, but, eh, you know, there's no need to cancel the shows because I might need to rant about a few things. So, a few introduction points, I suppose you could call them, but for now let's just call them introduction points because I'm awkward. Um, basically, this show is going to be me rambling and giving out my opinion and me giving out tips on certain aspects. Uh, whether it be a show I like, whether it be artist stuff, music stuff, I'll give my honest opinion. Uh, Roxy rants though, I suppose that's gonna be more negative. No tips, just me talking about what I dislike. And Roxy reviews, you know, I review things. It's not that hard to understand. So, what is this first episode gonna be about? I'm sure you're all asking. Well, it's about art anatomy. Now, art anatomy is definitely one of the more difficult parts because a lot of people don't like to study it. Why do they not like to study it? Oh, I don't study art anatomy because, well, it's my style. I don't need to perfect the anatomy. I mean, the legs are coming out of the head. Is that supposed to be like that? Oh no, that's just my style. So yeah, if something like this happens, that's a big no-no. Even if it is your style and it's part of the character, no. Don't do that. You should try and at least study a little bit. So, here are my top tips. And, well, my general opinion. So, Art Anatomy is pretty great. I enjoy it. I studied it for a good few months, maybe even a year. And I realized something after a while. People use shapes to get different body types. Men are usually more blocky, and women are usually a lot more curvy. As shown in this picture I got from Pinterest, I do not cl claim ownership, it belongs to the rightful owner. So, as you can see, this woman is a lot curvier than this man. But of course, it could be your own, well, style. I mean, if you have a curvy man, there's nothing wrong with that. You could even have a woman that's, well, blocky. There's nothing wrong with that. But. Just for now, let's simplify it down, because male figures tend to be blockier, women tend to be curvier, but of course, there's no limitations. You can do what you want, but just try to stick to a few rules, because uh, we don't want to go breaking the rules too much now. So, if we look at the picture, well, it's simple to understand. Use more circles on women and use more squares on men. It's easy. I usually do it. Now, I'm going to pop up one of my characters. A character I'm sure you all probably will not recognize. Oh, this is Roxy. You definitely haven't seen her before. I'm just kidding. You know I'm being sarcastic. So, let's look at her now. What do we notice? Her head is circular, apart from those little puffs that make her head look like a goddamn diamond. And her body is made up of a multitude of shapes. Her torso is a lot more blocky. And then her waist tends to be more diamond shaped. And she's got a very big oval for her hips. Now, well, that's what I wanted. And of course, you can see I didn't do what most people do, which is just use circles. Now, circles are great when you're starting out, but no, 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 no. Don't just use them. Come on. Like, what are you gonna do when you're drawing a big dinosaur? L like, T-Rex has a- does a T-Rex have a circle head? No, it doesn't. Look at that. That head is- that head's a fucking- That head's a goddamn rectangle? Oh, God, I didn't mean to hurt the T-Rex's feelings. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, a T-Rex has a rectangle head. You can't just draw a circle and add lines to it. No, draw a rectangle and add a circle to it. It's simple. It makes things a lot easier when you understand anatomy. Come on guys, please work with me here. <laughs> so, use shapes. That's my number one tip, to be honest. It's all you really need to know. It's 
all I can really give out at the moment. I'm just kidding. What? This video is like, what, 10 minutes long? Let's continue. So, what else apart from shapes? Well, study it. Just go over it. It's not just shapes you have to rely on, it's positioning. Now, let's talk about anatomy and poses. People tend to have trouble with poses because, well, there's a few poses that might just be that little bit difficult to pull off. But, certain shapes can actually help you get those. Take my art as an example. I use a diamond shape and a few circles in order to get the correct, well, bend in her back, I suppose, and her torso. I drew it like this on purpose because, well, it helped me. And then I added all the other features in simplified shape form, and I had her anatomy down. Then I added details and it turned out like this, and I'm still pretty proud of it. Now, another tip. Do not use the excuse, oh, this is just my art style. That won't work. I mean, sure, there's a few artists that do break the rules of anatomy. Let's take Bevan to example. But she does it in a way that makes sense. You see the way she drew the shoulders kind of out of the socket in these few art pieces? Well, that was her choice. It's stylized, not completely breaking the rules. She's just bending them. And see, she drew it in a way that it makes sense. It doesn't break her bones. And it looks pretty cute. I mean, I love Vev's art. And of course, this art belongs to the Vevze. I claim no ownership of it. I love art Vev, and I will never claim any of her art pieces. So. Yeah, you can bend the rules. You don't have to follow them strictly. I mean, I don't. I mean, half of my poses are uh, pretty impossible for humans to pull off because, well, I don't draw humans often. I draw animals. I mean, come on, guys. Simple to understand. Yeah, you don't have to completely follow the rules. You can bend them a little bit, but don't break them in half and put the feet on the head. It won't look pretty. So as you can see with this character I'm sketching out, I actually already have used some shapes. I used a circle here and a circle here for her head and her, well, her hips. And then I used the triangle to get her torso. And now I'm using more oval-like shapes and a few rectangles, I suppose, to get her arm down. Now so why I draw two ovals? Well, I draw two ovals because, well, I... I kind of want to make sure that the length is right. That's one of the reasons that people use shapes. If you use the same shape on the arm and you use it twice in order to signify where the joints are, then if they're roughly they're the same size, then, well, you're doing something right. But if they're not, then you're doing something wrong. Shapes can help you get, well, everything right. The right measurements, the right shape. All I can really say is study anatomy, get the shapes right, and, well, you'll be flying. Now, a place I learned where you can get great tips would be Pinterest. Just look at these images I found. All the credit goes to the original artist, of course. And, well, they've helped me a lot, as you can see. These poses are a lot more dynamic, and, well, they're a lot better than what I used to do. Trust me, you don't want to see my old art. And well, anatomy is important. Keep that in mind when you're drawing your art. And don't always use the excuse, it's just my art style. No, bend the rules, don't break them, use shapes. Study. Those are, well, the three things you really need to do. So, I'll be sure to see y'all in the next episode of Roxy Rambles, which will be out roughly in a month's time. I know it's a long wait, but there will be other videos in between. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. So, next Thursday is going to be a cover. And the Thursday after that is going to be an animation. Uh, hopefully, it might be another thing like me reading out a story I've been writing. And after that will be another cover. And then after that will be another episode. Don't you worry. There will be a stream this weekend also. Saturday, roughly... Um... I don't know, roughly in the middle of the day. Most likely, um, it'll be late-ish where I love. So, yeah. It'll be fun. Uh, I'm probably just gonna stream at random times. And upload videos at random times. But I promise you, I will get into a nice rhythm. And get a decent upload schedule going. Anyway, 
this has been Roxy. It's been great chatting to you all. Love you all. I'll see you next week. Love ya. Bye.